What is up YouTube? Rain back and I got a couple things for you today. Um, I want to just first talk about the updates coming to Monster Legends, the first being the Team Shop update. Um, and then there's some new things on Turinga. I just want to mention real quick because they're probably in a far distance away from us. And then I want to talk about the changes to Alex Bones moves. So they finally did some something good and uh, changed it so that he's not only going to be um, super effective for offense, but he's going to be really good for defense. Um, so and then I'm going to do the Igerasis dungeon. I want to mix it up. I want to show you guys a couple different setups I use for the usual dungeons. Um, because he, he not only is a tank, but some of these premier dungeons, they, they're easy for me because I have monsters that have all the different DOT effects. Um, so we'll dive into it. Uh, first we'll talk about team race. We'll talk about Alex Bone because that's what everybody's curious about. Now I got a little bit lucky. Now I, people are going to give me a little bit of, of flack for this, but our team got matched up against the top 50 team who was on lap 11 before the end of the first day. There was nothing we were gonna do to beat this team. They were, they were killing us. They were, um, no one on the team was over uh, 25,000 monster power, but somehow they all had 130s, and uh, they, I don't know what happened, but we got, we were gonna get killed. So I found a team down in the lower ranks that just had two players, and it was an open team, and we all joined, and we're gonna win, as you can see here. No one's even competing. Awesome. I know this is what they're trying to avoid with social point, but if social point's going to put all these tanks in random, random lobbies and random pools, then I'm not going to I'm not going to fight that. I don't. I, there's nothing I can do about it, some of these teams. So, Alex Bone finally got changed. It, this this attack for Alex Bone, his skills used to be right here. Uh, I did a video on him, and he looked terrible because his 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 best moves were not. Um, of the 100% chances, the May days all targets, May stun all targets. But they changed it. I'm not sure if it's just because it's 115, but his skills are now an AoE stun. Uh, the last skill group, AoE stun, AoE days, and his evasion is going to be one one turn. So he is no longer just going to be an attacker. He can definitely be a denier and probably one of the best ones in this group because he has evasion. And the days and uh, the days and stun are two of the two of the best skills you can have for the lightning group. I mean, Victor has an AOE blind and burn, and then the AOE stun. But he's not as I don't think he's as fast as Alex Bones gonna be, especially not at 115. Um, so that's great for people that are doing well in the race. Um, and now I want to talk about the update for the team shop, which is coming on Monday. So essentially, they're gonna increase prices for all the legends. Uh, not just the pets, but the generals too. Um, so right here, they have changes coming soon. Uh, not reading hatching team shop update. A uh, new set of monsters will be coming. Uh, these are the bodyguards. I already did an analysis on Ingvar's bodyguard. Not good. Not compared to General Ingvar. Um, and the tomb's bodyguard. Uh, there's a sneak peek on right here. Sneak peek on Turinga, but is, there's no, like, I don't think there's any stats up yet for him. Obviously, he's on a wiki, but that's okay. Um, so, if you are, if you have war coins, and you want to rank up monsters, or you want to get what's left of what's still there, I would recommend doing it before Monday when they increase prices by, I don't know what they're going to do. I wouldn't be surprised if they go to 1500 or something like that. Um, so... I'm going to show you real quick my recommendations because I have a bunch of war coins that I haven't spent. Mostly because I don't have the food to feed all of these monsters and all my other monsters at the same time. I'm yet I'm not yet a tank. Oops, I'm not yet a tank that I can feed all my monsters to 100. So right now, my opinion, best denier, no questions asked, is Nishant's pet. I have 7,400 war coins. I'm going to show you guys why I'm going to spend these because I'm not waiting for them to go up to 1,500 and then basically just lose out on an entire legend. So I'm going to buy Nishant's pet. And I'm going to buy another Nishan's pet because this is this is the, the legend I want to get to 115. He, he's he's my favorite denier in all of the he's he's I like him more than Thedes because I like my Frostbite better than Thedes. So I bought three of him that should get me enough to get him to 110. Uh, eventually I'll get him to 115. But um, I also wanted to get um, so for for what's left, Holter's pet's okay. He's more of a tank. And an attacker, he's got a good, he's got a really high power and a, and a lower speed. 
but he's got a shield move and I think he's got a heal move. Um, but I, it's just it, for metal monsters, I just wouldn't like him as much. Exo skill is really not that bad. He's more of an attack. He's an attacker too, but you're you know fighting against full take, no point. Uh, Toon's pet not that great compared to General Toon. DD's pet actually, I do like DD's pet. Um, it has a double. It, all of its moves are water based, I think. So you're not going to get that great you know special damage skill that can wipe an, en an, an enemy if the enemy is water based as well um, but he does have a double damage skill and a 50 damage water based AOE so if you can give him a couple good strength runes he probably can wipe even water legends as long as they don't have life runes um, next I'm definitely going to grab I like Dharma's pet he's not as good as General Dharma though um, and one of the other um, generals I don't have yet is Holter and if I had to pick between Holter and Nishant, I would pick Holter because he's got the Magnetize and then the AOE, which is always great because it's like a next, it's like a damage boost, um, essentially, at the same time that you're getting another AOE. So, or you're getting your next turn. Um, so I'm gonna pick up him, and I really do like Alsis too. I don't have an Alsis. I have some really good uh, legends in. So you're not gonna be able to hatch all these in. in feed all them up to 100 but I do want to get them before they go um, get a price spike so now we're going to dive into um, the Igursus dungeon now I want to show you guys why I have no problems now I know people don't have the same monsters as I do I know people don't have the same runes as I do but you can make this fight easy and you can usually make these fights easy um, bow tie was tough it was easy for me because I, I don't know if I got lucky um, but I think that uh, he was definitely not easier for someone that had the runes and the legends to make it seem that way. So you always want to check first uh, what they're immune to. Because with these monsters, they're going to have a million health or something like that. You want to just get a DOT effect on them and let them, kill, and let them just run out of life that way. Uh, Nightmare's Possession, Freeze, Instant Death, Attuned, Poison, and Burning. So, real quick. The monsters in the game right now that have DLTs that are almost unblockable, Testa Day, the new legend that was just released, uh, the one that's immune to possession, that's earth-based, he has quicksand and bleeding, but no monsters immune to bleeding, so you, it's always good to have a monster that has an AoE bleed. I have a couple, but I'll just recommend them real quick. Baltasar has him, I know he was a race monster, but he'll be coming up for sale soon. Um, I know... Afuichas has it, but it's not an AoE. Uh, Raubog has it, and I was using him for a long time because he's he's got the AoE burn and the AoE bleed, which is great for uh, these premier dungeons. So, I think I'm going to go with Haxter, Baltasar, and Kay. I was going to use Raubog because I know some people actually do have Raubog, but you can use any legend that has an AoE bleed. They're, they're, quite, they're quite a bit, I think. Um... But I prefer Baltasar because he has the AoE Nightmares and Bleeding. You could use Lurnian. And Lurnian has Poison, Bleeding, and something else. I don't know what it is. But you can use you can use a bunch of legends. Any legends that has DOTs, Quicksand's great. Um, but I'm going to use Haxer because he has the stun too. And I think the, are the small ones immune to stun? The small ones are immune to stun, but the big one's not. So I'm going to hack all. Hopefully the big one doesn't use his... Um, Vesuvius, which uh, just gives him like a, a protection, a juggernaut protection. And then you want to go with the AoE bleed, possible nightmares. Alright, bleeding mist on two of them, so that's great. But he gave him, he gave him quicksand, and that'll kill him next turn, I think. I don't I do the math. Or he'll just kill himself this turn. Still hacked. Please don't use Vesuvius. Or you could just use the super. I guess that's better than Vesuvius, actually. Oh, <laughs> yeah, because he's, he's, he's hacked. Alright, use the. Can't attack on next turn. And then we will go with uh, the double damage hack. Oh, no, he's got. It. He's next. Uh, this is the massive. Massive special. 
and then double damage a pack. But who goes first out of these two? I don't remember. We'll just go with the double damage hack. Hopefully, it won't matter. One of these two are going to get skipped. I'll make sure Baltasar gets him close enough to die, but not kill him. There we go. So this will skip the big one too, actually. Or no, we'll skip this. Okay, I thought that the one first. It wouldn't have mattered. He, his um, he's can't can't attack. He's gonna die next turn anyway. So this this was an easy battle. I didn't get touched. Well, I did get touched. I lied. Because um, uh, he used the super, but it was a super against himself, which was perfect. He could have used the Vesuvius, and that probably would have done. So, and I don't even have to attack him now. I can just let him burn out. Uh, yeah, because this will skip. This will skip Haxter, which is fine. Because then the other one will go, and he'll just bleed out anyway. So, easy battle. It's it's most important to use DOTs in, in this. So if you have, again, if you have Quicksand, the new Sunburn, um, the Hack, which is great. Bleeding is usually good. Nightmares isn't always blocked. Sometimes Burning isn't even blocked. You can't stack Burning and Ignition, which is something um, I've tried to do, and it would just want to replace the other one. Uh, but you can stack Bleeding, Burning, Sunburn, and Nightmares if, you, if they're all not blocked. I um, mean, quicksand, too, actually. I mean, that'll be a one-turn kind of thing. Um, so that was easy. Uh, uh, there's nothing going on the side here. And the last thing I want to talk about was the newest um, things that come to Turinga. Uh, this has already been released. Someone's already mentioned. Uh, there's a couple people that have done it with uh, the June breeding event. Um... Uh, there's Cassandre. The new books just came out today for the families. Nothing. I mean, you guys can look at those. I, I'm not going to do an analysis on either of them for a while because um, I'll make sure that I go through the books when they're finished, not when they're still being added to. Ingmar's bodyguard. We already talked about him coming to the shop. This is the newest monster right here. Um, but that's really all I had for you guys. I just want to do the quick update on. Um, how, how these premier dungeons should be they should they shouldn't be that tough I know some people struggle with bow tie and he, he probably shouldn't have struggled with but most of these premier dungeons aren't that bad um, If you have monsters that have DOTs don't go with like your three strongest monsters You're not gonna do enough damage to these monsters. You have to just add DOTs to them um, Team race again uh, Alex bone. He finally has been updated his skills are good. He will be a good legend He would be good deny. He can be a good attacker You can do what you want with your runes if you're lucky enough to get him and then um, please, please, please use your war coins if you want these legends that are available. I Again, I didn't have um, Holter, Thebe's Pet, or Ulses, General Ulses. And I'm glad, I'm glad that I got them before that they might spike four to 500 war coins themselves. Um, they were 800, not even three, four months ago. And now they're probably going to, they're basically going to be doubled. But I just want to do this uh, this daily update um, for the next few days because there won't be too much coming on the weekend with the races finishing up. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later.